So I'm really stuck. I've been trying for a while and I cannot get out of, well, between the two highways really. Because there is a sign which says you're not allowed to go there. Um, so I think I'll be walking around for another half an hour to find my way out here. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the last couple of videos we've been putting out. Uh, it's been great making them. The camp now is officially finished here in Vintuk, Namibia. Uh, two and a half, almost three weeks. It's been pretty good. Some, some big uh, ups and downs. Uh, I came here kind of with a bit of a heart issue and kind of leaving here with a kind of a bit of a heart issue still. Um, pretty tough to deal with and it's not the best situation scenario that I'm currently in uh, with the Olympics being about nine or ten weeks away from here. So yeah, heading back to the Netherlands quite shortly and hopefully going to get a procedure done uh, at the start of June to try and um, correct and try and fix my arrhythmia of my heart. And yeah, from there we're going to have to make the call whether I'll be able to compete in the Olympics or not. So it's going to be a pretty uh, tough couple of weeks and yeah, hoping yeah I'll come out on top and things will be good. And yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the Chasing Gold series. Hopefully it doesn't end uh, at the end of uh, June. But yeah, we're going to see how it goes and uh, thanks for tuning in always. Cheers guys. I'm heading off to Lisbon for my first uh, Olympic distance of the year. It feels like I haven't raced in such a long time and it's actually like that. We did two super sprint, um, well, super league races actually, which were super short and indoor. So I'm excited to be racing a little bit longer and outdoors again. After that, I'm going home for a week and we head off to another training camp again. So it's a lot of training camps the last couple of months or actually a year and a half, uh, not much racing, uh, which, I'm, which I've really missed. Um, the only thing is I did pick up a little injury for the first time in about eight years. Um, so I struggled with that a little bit. So maybe it was good that I didn't have too many races. So I'm very excited for next weekend and um, hope to see everyone soon again. Okay, you two bicycles. You just jump in there. No. Go. We headed to Frankfurt and Rachel's leaving me for Portugal. Yep, I'll go to Lisbon tomorrow and I'll stay in Frankfurt if everything goes right. Yeah, and then I'm heading back to the Netherlands after Frankfurt. Rachel's taking over the rest of the video from here, so I have no idea what's going to happen, but stay tuned to see what maybe, she does. Maybe I'm not going to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Ok, 
Okay, so we made it to Frankfurt, so we're alive, which is good. We just got into Europe again. I got into Europe, which is great. And yeah. We've got my just leaving me now. No. These are other suitcases coming. So I made it back to the Netherlands. It was quite a trip. I did a bit of a detour through Sittard through the south because we came in so late at the night and uh, great to be back here. Rachel's racing in Lisbon, so all the best to her for this weekend's race. I don't know if you can hear me very well. I'm in Frankfurt at the airport. I arrived here last night from Windhoek and I'm flying to Lisbon a bit later and I'm trying to go for a run. I've got my phone with me so I can figure out where I go. I wanna go there. I just don't know how. So it's gonna be fun. A uh, little jog before I fly again. So I'm really stuck. I've been trying for a while and I cannot get out of well, between the two highways really because there is a sign which says you're not allowed to go there so I hope I found something uh, we'll see oh is this an entrance maybe not maybe not look at that I found the forest oh look at what I found the forest so it's a bit bumpy but I don't have time to stop really because I have a flight to catch so I'm casually walking through the airport in my running clothing it kind of feels weird because a lot of people are staring at me but it was a really nice run. <laughs> Richard, this is take three. I had everything in slow-mo so far. So finally, I've arrived in Lisbon. I quickly built my bike by myself. Didn't have need any help with Richard. And it's 5.30 now, 6.30 where I came from, and I only had breakfast so far. So I'm happy I'm here by myself, not with, it, with Richard, because he would be so grumpy because he would be hungry. Um, I'm hungry as well. I'll quickly head for some food and then do some exploring in Lisbon. relaxing in Lisbon um, just rolling around a little bit not really training or really riding I did my second trial on here ever uh, so it was actually the first trial on ever my parents saw 
they gave me a visit here when I was European Championship Juniors. And I still remember like walking on the bricks which are a little bit further on and having like bad side station stuff. So it's really nice being back, but it's also quite like a little bit emotional because I feel like hey that was the first time my mum saw me doing triathlon and my mum was also always supporting me. But it's also really nice. It's a really nice city and it feels really relaxed and it's just pretty we've got a lot of things to see and yeah i feel really relaxed for the first time in a in a while actually and <laughs> Supermarkets in the Netherlands had a lot of food, but this is amazing. Cheese, 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 and more cheese, and more cheese. No worries, this is not a stolen hotel towel. I asked for old towels, which I normally do to clean my bike with. So, yeah, I'm not racing it tomorrow, but I felt like cleaning my bike now, which is a bit weird because it's already 9 pm. Uh, but then again, then I don't have to do it tomorrow, so all good. It's almost clean. Hello and a very warm welcome to Lisbon. We're on the west coast of Portugal for our first Women's World Triathlon Cup race of the season. Well, that looked reasonably clean. Of course, there will be 15 second time penalties for uh, anyone who uh, transgresses. A bit further down, Rachel Plummer, a minute to drift out the water, a little more than she would have wanted. Yeah. Quite happily sitting there in mid division. Yeah, I feel like it's only just so consistent. Um, sometimes she just has that amazing run in the. See Rachel Klammer as well there, kind of moving into a good position. It's all the experienced women, isn't it? Klammer, Spirig, Vicky Holland. trying to run away from Hayes and the 39 year old has found the energy, found the pace. Nicola Spirig adds yet another goal to her phenomenal CV. Uh, then with a second female athlete uh, in Tokyo. Klama, you knew she was going to be top 10, she always is. Good morning, it's Monday morning and I raced yesterday here in Lisbon. I'm gonna fly in a couple of hours from now going home. So yesterday I had a bad swim. That's how the race started. So I came out of the water like a minute behind the front pack. Well, I started riding hard because I just wanted to like kind of do a separate swim bike and run. So if I had a bad swim, I'll just continue with the bike and I forget about the swim. And then I uh, so started riding hard. And then I was lucky enough that there were some really fast riders behind me. So um, yeah, we got to the front pack. When we started running, I didn't know what to expect. I was a little bit nervous. Well, a little bit was maybe an understatement. I was quite nervous because I've only been running every second day. Yeah, then running a 10K might become really long. And the first two laps I felt fine. The third lap was a little bit harder. And then the last lap I was fine again. It's a little bit of a struggle the whole race to find like how hard and how deep you could go. Um, I think that was the most difficult thing. And going back to the swim, it was very choppy. It was like swimming in the ocean. It's like the river, but it's connected to it. There's like low tides and high tides and stuff. Riding, had to get used to riding in the pack again, uh, which was different because I normally just ride with like either Richard and myself or maybe with like three or four others um, in training. 
and running uh, it was the first time running a 10k on my 361 flame shoes um i didn't get any blisters really like a tiny little thing but that's like nothing so i'm quite happy with that and now i'm going home i'm going to be there for about one week and then i will fly to leeds where i'll do my second uh olympic distance of the year it's going to be interesting because um the weather in europe hasn't been great i see so hopefully um uh, yeah the good weather will arrive uh, soon so we don't go to leeds so uh, with the typical uh British weather. Sorry for all the British followers. <laughs> no, in the Netherlands it has also been very bad. So I've been lucky to be away for a couple of weeks. And after Leeds, I'm going to Van Dromeu altitude camp again. So two altitude camps quite uh, close to each other, which is quite nice. Hopefully um, I don't feel the altitude as much uh, on the well third altitude camp of the year.